What's up, comic fam, comic fans? It is time to preview the comic books coming out November 13th, all right? We got spec books, we got spotlight books, we got FOC books for next week. Get them in by Monday. And we got the rest of the books coming out this week. And we're going to do it all right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into the books. We know, we know. Or I know how I do. You know how I do? I don't know. Do you? Ah, wow. Well, who knows? Anyway, we're going to get into the spec books. That's how I started off. We got three books on tap. First off, we got Absolute Batman number two. That's right. Absolute Batman number two. The first one was... Um, Oh man, it was it was ridiculous. <laughs> Let's put it at that. Um, it was crazy. It was good. I liked it a lot. And in this one, we get some uh, some villains. Obviously, they exist in the DC universe, but in the Absolute ver Universe, these are going to be some new appearances. So we got the introduction of the Absolute Harvey Dent, the Riddler, Selina Kyle, and the Penguin. All in Absolute Batman number two. Woo! Right? And you also got Batman versus Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, a lot of covers for this book. A lot of homage covers, right? So you got this one. Um, this one seems to be really uh, popular. The Daniel Warren Johnson cover. He's just a hot artist, right? You got some, some another homage there. And yeah, you just got a lot of covers coming out, right? There's a, some incentive covers, obviously. And um, yeah, there you go. And you got a cameo by Thomas Wayne, right? What is, how is Thomas Wayne still alive in this universe? Probably. And how does he play into all of this? Who knows? But uh, we're going to check out Absolute Batman number two. All right, next up on the list is Amazing Spider-Man number 61 if you're into spider-man dying well this might be <laughs> the book you want to check out as we have the eight lives of spider-man or um he's got ex eight extra lives i guess is what you can you say right spider spider has eight legs right so that makes sense right um <laughs> he has a doom he's gonna get a uh, doom inspired spider suit in this this is the beginning of the Eight Deaths of Spider-Man story arc, and we have the first appearance of Sintros in this book, all right? Scion of Sidorak. So if you know about the Sidorak bands, that's kind of what gives Juggernaut his, his powers and all that other stuff. But this should be interesting. Doctor Doom's got a lot to do with it, right? And uh, I, don't know. I don't know what his thing is with Spider-Man. Does he have a vendetta, or is this to save the world? Who knows, but... Boom, Spider-Man's in for it. Last but not least on my list of spec books is G.I. Joe number one. G.I. Joe. Anyway, you got the first appearance of Risk on the, in this book and also I, on the cover. Um, yeah, G.I. Joe. Joshua Williamson. I'm ready. I'm in. There's all new characters. Let's go. Um, I'm all about it. All right, let's transition in to those spotlight books. First off, we got Artbound, number one, Tom Hardy. You know that guy. He plays Venom, also uh, Academy Award nominated. Tom Hardy, he's, um, yeah, I mean, he was also Mad Max, right? Or he was in Mad Max. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't watch enough of Mad Max to know that. Sorry, guys. Uh, Artbound. Yeah, it's a uh, future Earth, you know, barren wasteland, that whole rigmarole. But, you know, these always end up being, to me anyway, pretty good stories, right? It's it's a good starting point for a story, right? These, just this blank canvas and boom. So uh, we'll see. I remember this was, uh, started being advertised about a year ago at New York Comic Con and maybe San Diego Comic Con. So... Now it's finally out with issue number one. We'll see if it's any good. Next up, we have the Carlos Gomez foreshadowing variant of Venom number 39 with the all new Venom on the cover, okay? 
So if you can get your hands on this, pretty cool book. And this is the first cover appearance of the all new Venom suit. Uh, I don't think this character appears in the book, but you do have this cover appearance. I could be wrong, but I don't think this character is actually in the book. It's just a cover appearance. All right, last but not least on my spotlight list, this is Absolute Batman Noir Edition number one. This is the same cover, I believe, as the ash cans that were at San Diego Comic Con. So, pretty cool. Absolute Batman Noir Edition. I like it. It's just, you know, the black and white of the cover, but pretty cool stuff. Next up are those FOC books, and pretty much if you put in this order by next Monday, you're guaranteed, your shop is guaranteed to get you this, these books, you know, unless they're, they're you know, not cool. Um, also, you can order pre-order these online, and, you know, the online comic shop should have these books. So let's take a look at the books we want. First up, we got Deadly Tales of Gunslinger, number one. I'm a big fan of the Gunslinger, so give me a Gunslinger book and I'm all in it. You got Jimmy Palmiotti writing this, all right? Superstar creator. And then you got uh, Patrick Reynolds on the art and Bjorn Behrens on the cover. That's why I picked this one. This is cover B. This, this is any, uh, this even, <laughs> sorry, I, I had tacos, so. I'm a little gassy right now. TMI? Maybe. But you know what? You're here. We're keeping it real. Anyway, <laughs> Bjorn Behrens is on the cover. Cover artist, Bjorn Behrens. And that's why I picked this cover B. Look at the cover A. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm in. I'm all in. All right. Next up on the FOC list, we got Sabretooth. Oh, man. Frank Miller is back at it. Part of me is like, is that Vulture? And part of me is like, yo, I don't know. kind of want this cover. <laughs> Um, yeah, Frank Miller. Wow, look at that. If you're a Frank fan, there you go. And then, last but not least, for you Magic fans, right, we've got this J. Scott Campbell Magic number one coming out. The Mystic Mutant goes demon hunting in her own new ongoing series. Ileana Rasputin strikes out on her own. All right. So Cool Beans, if you're a Magic fan, this is probably a cover that you are going to invest in, especially if you are a fan of J. Scott Campbell. All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. We're going to start off with Image Comics and what do we got coming out of Image. Domain is coming to an end. You got Geiger number seven with a second printing of this weird three-eyed zebra. Pretty dope. Uh, G.I. Joe number one is out multiple covers obviously for this one you got the joes you got more joes right you got even more joes you got a cobra cover that's pretty dope cobra commander in this series has been anything but like sniveling and weak he's he's been pretty gangster and then you got this really dope Jenny Frizen cover. I mean, the options are yours. You get whichever cover you want. Uh, and there's even Blink covers. So much so that they have two Blink sketch covers here. Um, one has G.I. Joe up in the corner. And the other one has Cobra! Cobra! All right, and you got the Frizen and the cover one wraparound in foil. A lot of covers, guys, a lot of covers. That doesn't even uh, include like store exclusives and all that other stuff. All right, let's keep going. Uh, there's some Lady Mechanica there. I know there's some fans of that. Um, what else? Sam and Twitch is on issue number eight. A couple of different covers there. And Violator is on issue number three of six. Transformers, we all love Transformers. That's on issue number 14. And um, yeah, you got Witchblade, already up to issue number five. That's crazy. Boom, here comes the Boom, ready or not. What do we have coming out of Boom Studios? You have Power Rangers Prime, a whole new Power Rangers series coming out this week for you Power Ranger fans. A couple covers of that. 
So go pick it up if you like the Power Rangers. And you have a new wind. Win the Power of the Blood number one. That's of an eight-issue series. All right, Titan Comics. Titan. Still weak sauce. We'll, we'll figure out a real way to say Titan to introduce them. But we have Heat Seeker, and that is not weak sauce. Heat Seeker Combustion. All right, part of that Gun Honey universe. And this is issue number one. A lot of covers. They kind of do it in dynamite style. So pick the one that uh that you like the most. Um, yeah. And there's a couple of other series out, including the girl called Cthulhu. All right, we're off to DC Comics. That you have lots and lots of comics there for us to to peruse yeah look at all those comics all right but we're gonna start off with absolute batman and all the covers there pick the one that you like the most i mean you got daniel warren johnson nick jagoda jay lee right bagnosian all doing covers so yeah pick the one that makes you happy action comics is out that's been a pretty good read so far so that's out with issue number 1075. A lot of covers for that one. Uh, that's a 699 uh, $6 for the uh, cardstock and 599 for the, the regs. Regular cover A. Batman and Robin number 15 is out. New, uh, I'm gonna guess, villain in that book. Uh, their name's Memento. Right, basically says something about them on the cover. So that is out this week. Batman Full Moon number two is out. Batman by Goth uh, by Gaslight, I was gonna say by Gotham Light, is finishing this week with issue six of six, part of the Kryptonian Age chapter of that that series. Batman on cover number one, that's a one shot. Jorge Jimenez on the cover art, if you recognize that for cover A. David Nakayama on B. And some uh, other good artists there. Black Lightning number one is out this week. And uh, let's keep the party going. DC versus Vampires on issue number four of six. What else? What else do we got? If I miss anything, guys, let me know. And we're off to Marvel Comics, where we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 61, starting off, kicking off the eight deaths of Spider-Man. Lots of cool covers. The um, Scotty Young one probably being one of the cooler ones. <laughs> He's about to die by Daily Bugle. All right. Look at all these marvel books so many i couldn't help but to scroll forward so you guys can see them all what else we got captain america number 15 some decent covers on that uh conquest 2099 there seems like there's a new 2999 character in all these books so if you're really interested in picking up the first appearances of 2099 characters in the marvel universe collect this series all right because there's a lot of first appearances of 2029 20, of 2099 characters in this book all right deadpool number eight is out some cool covers for that ish for that book what else do we got nyx is out with issue number five x-men books are pretty good i haven't picked one up yet that i'm like oh this is trash um, with that being said, Psylocke number one's out. I haven't read that one yet. Let me know if you found any bad X-Men books. Let me know how you feel about that. Uh, Ewoks number two is out. Spectacular Spider-Man number nine. Ultimate X-Men number nine is out. I think we have the first full appearance of this universe's Dakin in that book. Uncanny uh, X-Men number five is out. And then we got Venom number 39. Uh, what else? You have uh, Venom War, Deadpool, and then Werewolf by Night, Polybagged. 
because it's the red band edition nice all right we're off to dynamite what do we have out of dynamite you got barbarella number two yeah you got some premium books you got johnny quest number four space ghost number seven the terminator number two all right dynamite's got some some books coming out this week and uh, we're off to the rest of the books coming out this week Let's see what we got and if i miss anything guys let me know got that arc bound number one we touched on that right with the uh spotlight books couple of covers you know pick the one that you want the most remember guys you could have been anywhere in the world but you're here with me i appreciate that i stole that from jay-z you got black hammer spiral city number one right spiral city out of the black hammer universe so if you're a black hammer fan here is a new black hammer book borderlands moxie's mysterious memento right if you're a borderlands fan dark horse hooking you up with some more story in the Borderlands universe. What else? What else do we got coming out this week? A lot of books, guys. So as we get closer to the holidays, you will notice a slowdown in the amount of books coming out. We have Godzilla. Here there be dragons number two. Uh, Sons of Giants. Issue number five. So, I mean, Godzilla and dragons sounds like a good combo to me. So, yeah, a lot of books will be coming out now. A lot of um, stories will be wrapping up. As we get closer to the holiday season, you'll notice a slowdown in books, especially around Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And then we'll wrap it right back up in 2025. But even artists and writers need some time for the holidays to spend with family and loved ones. You'll see some of the up and coming writers and artists get a shot to do some stuff. But yeah, seems like a lot of reprints of things are coming out these days. That's what we're seeing here. What do we got? Resurgence Exo Man of War one shot. So, if you're an Exo Man of War guy, you got that. You got a one shot. There's some Rick and Morty coming out. Youth and Rick Bolt, issue number four. What else do we have? Here's a number one out of Blood Moon Comics Spell Slinger number one. Looks like some Midwestern with some uh, mixed with some magic. Star Trek Lower Decks. That's uh, on issue number one. So that's cool. Uh, here's another number one out of Blood Moon Comics. Starved Rock number one. String number one. Mad of Mad Cave Studios. I've heard some decent things about that. Two covers for that. Uh, I'm a big fan of cover B. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. What else do we have? There's a lot of like collections and hard covers and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, the Toxic Avenger is out with issue number two. What else? You and I is coming to an end at AWA with issue number six. Out of Time Bomb Comics, there's V2A, Wasteland Chronicle, Doomsday, number one. All right, that's a number one. If I see a number one, I'm going to point it out. There's Yars Rising, number one. That's an Atari game. Uh, I believe it's been critically acclaimed. So that's out. And Comic Fam, Comic Fans, that's the end. That's it. We're at the end. So do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. Peace. Deuces. Have a great new comic book day. I'm out.
What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time to preview the comics coming out. What's up, comic fam, comic fam? 